everyone! Today we are going to answer backend questions which can be really, really useful in your future backend developer career. So, let's start from the question about... And before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel with the red button below this video and to turn on the notification so you know for sure about the next questions and to give us thumbs up and leave a comment. Hey, let's talk about non-relational databases, which are also called NoSQL. You already know about relational databases, so now let me compare a little bit. Non-relational databases are the one that doesn't follow the tabular organization of the data with row and columns. And there are four types of storing data in non-relational database. There is a key value, where we are storing our data as a key value pairs, and this kind of uh, database is a great idea for IOT projects or gaming. The second one is graph store and it's used with applications that work with highly connected datasets. It's a great idea to use this kind of uh, database with applications like recommendation systems, networking apps, or fraud detection. The third one is a column store, and it's similar to SQL database, but the difference here is the data that are collected in the tables can have different row and column attributes even inside the same table. And the fourth way to store data in NoSQL database is a document store, where we are storing our data as a JSON format in a one document or multiple documents. And this kind of storage is the best for real-time applications or big data. The most popular non relational databases are DynamoDB from Amazon, MongoDB, Cassandra or Elasticsearch. The biggest advantage of using non-relational database is the simplicity, which means that developer doesn't have to put a lot of effort to create a huge architecture of relations in the database and most often the non-relational databases are much faster to handle the data and calls, API calls than the relational databases. Thanks for watching. Bye!